Conference Message from the Prophet How You Can Know What's True by President Russell M. Nelson What do you feel an urgent need to know or understand? Urgent means very important or right now. Follow the example of the Prophet Joseph Smith. Find a quiet place. Have a humble attitude before God. Turn to your Heavenly Father for answers and for comfort. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ about your concerns, your fears, and the longings of your heart. Longings means what you want very much. And listen. Write the thoughts that come to your mind. Follow through with actions you are prompted to take. Prompted means inspired by the Holy Ghost. You can receive your own testimony that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God, that Joseph Smith is a prophet, and that this is the Lord's Church. No matter what others may say or do, no one can ever take away a testimony in your heart and mind about what is true. playing a song together. They went to a radio tower to play their music so that everyone would be able to hear it. Sabrina was playing the glockenspiel. Owen was playing the xylophone. Julian was playing the guitar. and Mia was playing the violin. The sound from their music goes into the microphone and down the wire. The signal goes into the transmitter. Next, the transmitter sends a radio signal up the antenna. And then, the antenna sends the radio waves out into the sky. We can't see the radio waves with our eyes. And we can't hear the radio waves with our ears, but the radio waves are still there. If we want to hear the radio waves, we need something else. We need a radio receiver. If we have a radio receiver and we tune the receiver to the right channel, then we can hear the music.
Did you know that radio waves are kind of like the Holy Ghost? We can't see the Holy Ghost with our eyes, and we can't hear the Holy Ghost with our ears. But the Holy Ghost is still there. If we want to feel the Holy Ghost, we need a receiver, and the receiver for the Holy Ghost. Is in our mind and in our heart. We can tune our heart to the Holy Ghost by following Jesus Christ and trying to keep His commandments. Then, when Heavenly Father sends the Holy Ghost to tell us something, we'll be able to receive it. The Holy Ghost bears testimony of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost can give us peace and comfort. The Holy Ghost can help us make good choices and help protect us from harm. And the Holy Ghost teaches us the truth of all things. Yea, behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart. By the Holy Ghost, which shall come upon you, and which shall dwell in your heart. Caleb's bedtime prayer. What should I pray for? Caleb asked Daddy. Pray about what made you happy, Daddy said. And you can ask Heavenly Father to help you. Thank thee for son and friends, Caleb said. And please bless my Owie. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Open your heart to the Holy Ghost, by President Henry B. Irene. When Jesus was about to leave his disciples, he told them how he would give them his peace. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John chapter 14, verses 26 and 27. The Holy Ghost helps us remember. When President Irene wants to remember something, he writes it down in his journal. Sometimes he also paints a picture to show how he felt. Seek the Lord early and die.
Let us, Heavenly Father, speak to us. Here are some ways we can hear Him. A feeling that Jesus loves us and that the gospel is true. A comforting feeling when we are sad or lonely. A happy feeling after we have repented. A good feeling when we hear beautiful music or see inspiring art. Peaceful feeling that something is a good choice. A warning that something is wrong. feels Heavenly Father love as she prays. Can you find the 15 hymn hearts? My Special Place by Jan Pinborough, Church Magazines. There is a place I like to go to listen for the Spirit. It isn't very far away. In fact, I'm always near it. My scriptures are quite close at hand. My picture of the temple, my journal where I write my thoughts, it couldn't be more simple. I hum a song, I kneel to pray. A quiet and peaceful feeling comes to my heart and lets me know the Holy Ghost is speaking. Find your own special place. Add special things like scriptures, pictures, and good music. Take time to pray. Keep kneeling and listen. Write down your thoughts and feelings. The Holy Ghost is speaking when you remember something you've learned before. You want to do something good or help others. You have a quiet, happy feeling. You feel warned to not do something. You feel comforted. Scripture. 